Hello and welcome to the gallery. My name is Yon, and tonight we're going to continue on with the Horus Heresy Legions. We're at the halfway point. We've done four different videos, so eight legions all in all. Now we're in the fifth one, and we're doing number nine and number ten. For this video, we'll be focusing on Emperor's Children's and the Iron Hands, and that seems kind of fitting because of all the lore reasons between the two Primarchs of those two legions. We're going to start with the Loyalists, the Iron Hands. Now the Iron Hands are pretty simple to paint. I'm starting out with Lead Belcher as an undercoat, and I just gave it a hefty good old spray over the entire thing, and then we're working on a little bit of an aging thing to them. So we're putting a little bit of Agrax Earthshade, just brushing that over the entirety of the model, getting a little bit of a brown old tint to all this ghastly metallic paint that we've got strewn about the figure. Uh, once all of this Agrax Earthshade has dried, we're going to start working on a little bit of extra rust factor for it. So I'm using Griffhound Orange Contrast Paint. I'm just putting a little bit of a splotch here and there, being quite liberal and uh, quite uh, nonchalant and just placing it wherever I feel like it. After I've put a few dollops down, I moisten the tip of my brush and I feather it around and splutch it about a bit so we get this interesting uh, rouge rust orange feeling to the model here and there. And this will give us a basis of what we're going for later on. Now keeping it a little bit out of focus, I'm going to start working on the black part of the armor, but I'm still going to keep it quite metallic looking. I'm using Black Templar and mixing in about 50-50 with Contrast Medium. If I have to do two coats, I would rather do two coats than have to try to work my way back. And I'm just putting that where, I put, where the actual power armor is, on all the smoother surfaces, getting some sort of black feeling to that. But the old uh, metallic look that was underneath that we worked so hard for is still there. Now with undiluted uh, Black Templar, I'm uh, working in the crevices in the Under Armour and the casings and everything like that, and still quite out of focus. It's very paramount. Next, once all of this has dried, quick dry brush of Necron compound, and you're basically done. I kept one arm of him, not with uh, the blackened armor, just to have that iron hands look to it. I don't know if it's lore accurate or not, I just felt like it was fun. And uh, with the dry brushing, it will all mix together quite well. For the lenses and everything I want to have a little bit of color to, I just paint over that with uh, Vallejo Silver, because that is my go-to paint for shiny stuff, as you might have noticed if you watched more of this series. And for a hint of color into the entire miniature, I'm using Talisar Blue, and that over silver looks striking, as you can see. I'm also adding that to a little bit of the stuff on his belt, and that uh, little uh, emblem in the center of his uh, chest, just to have this little pop of color to him that I felt was quite missing. It was quite dark. Now that was a super quick paint job, mainly because we're focusing on the one metallic color with a little bit of nuances here and there in regards to that. Before we jump into the Emperor's Children paint job, which is a slightly more complex paint job than what we just did, I would like to point out uh, all the Patreon and the Amazon affiliates and all the links underneath and everything like that, and the like and the share and the subscribe and the yada yada yada, you know the drill. It's a YouTuber's thing to always mention this, therefore mention it. But now, the Emperor's Children. Now, this figure will be a little bit more complex than the Iron Hands model we just finished, mainly because it has a little bit of extra colors to it, and it's a little bit of a brighter figure. I'm starting out with Xerxes Xerius Purple and washing over that entirety with Druchi Violet. Uh, the reason why I'm going for purple and not uh, the pink that we're so used to is mainly because it's uh, the 40k version is quite on the pinkish side, while most of the stuff I've seen from Horus Heresy, they're a little bit more on the regal purple side. 
Now after that has all dried, I'm dry brushing over the entirety of it with a Xerxes purple again, just to smooth it out a little bit and leaving the recesses in the blacker form. Excuse me for the cat meowing. Next, we're dry brushing over it with Lucius Lilac, and we're just trying to catch the edges this time around. Not overly too much, just it's like a quick edge highlight on the cheap side, which is perfectly fine when you're doing big legions and stuff like that. Next, I'm dragging up my Black Templar, and again, I seem to have this thing for keeping stuff a little bit out of focus. I'm putting a Black Templar on the shoulder pads and on all the under armor stuff as per usual. Also the gun casing and various bits here and there. Just getting a little bit of extra color to it and a little bit of more interest to it. Just being quite careful not to hit any of the glorious purple stuff that we've already done. Next, we're in the metallics, and this is an Emperor's Children, so these need to be gold and luscious and lovely. So, Retribute Armor, a warm gold color on the little globulets on his shoulder pad, and here and there, strewn about the piece, adding a little bit of a gold extra look to him. The bands on his chest plate, a little bit on his power pack, just here and there, giving it a little bit of a gold. And instead of using uh, the lead belcher or something like that, we're going full on in the bright, bright silver on all the metallic bits. It seems fitting for this guy to have bright, bright, bright silver and warm gold. Nothing dirty or grimy about this guy. Well, not yet. Of course, he is a chaos marine, so later on in his life, if he lives, he'll probably grime himself up a little bit and go full bonkers mad. Uh, we're sick of being slanish, so... Uh, well, he's clean and dainty for now. Next, we're gonna wash the gold. We're using Reichlin Flesh Aids, another warm color, keeping the gold warm and nice and out of focus, because why the heck not? Just be careful not to have uh, too much of this Reichlin Flesh Aid. Go into the purple, it'll make it a little bit of a dull color, in my opinion. For all the silver bit, it's non oil as per use, and that'll flow wonderfully into all the crevices and the recesses, and leave a lovely highlight because the silver paint is so smooth it rejects washes. So all the washes will just go straight into recesses and not much else. And for his eye lenses, I'm using Aethermatic Blue, slightly different blue than the Iron Hands, but a lovely color nonetheless. Okay, the legions of these once brothers, once friends, now hated enemies are ready. Let's take a look at them in a short and succinct reveal. And here we have the two figures ready to go. The Iron Hands, a little bit of a different silver metallic look than the Iron Warriors that we've done previously, but still a quick and easy paint job. And the Emperor's Children, a really nice, uh, rich and regal paint job that is quite quick to do. Thank you very much for joining me here today. There are links in the description for all kinds of stuff. Social media, the Amazon store and various tidbits. You do with it what you will. Like, share and subscribe and let the colors flow. And But until next time, farewell. <laughs>